Well, thank you for coming to Quail and the uh, our press conference of Kenoki Amakaras in this cold weather. You know, hopefully it's going to be sunny and uh, warm later on. Uh, thanks to you all and our clients, our company is going to celebrate 10th anniversary next uh, April. And we have grown to uh, 50 people and the uh, um, $10 million uh, operation in the last 10 years in the automotive sector. And uh, we do a lot of uh, uh, design consulting. As you can see next to this car that I'm going to present in a second, uh, it's a concept tractor that we have designed in a built uh, prototype for a company called Yanmar. And it is already in production, and it's going to be sold in the United States as well. And all the information is available after this press conference. Now let's talk about our main course today here. We have been building cards called Code 7 and Code 9 for past eight years. And we have built about 20 cards of those Code 7s, Code 9s, mostly sold in Japan. Now, all the things we have learned uh, in our internal in-house shop for carbon fiber fabrication and the aluminum milling, uh, all the things that we have learned enough that we thought that we were able to come to finally this uh, quail to present you this one-off car called Code 57. The name 57 came from great year of 1957, including Tessarossa and enemy cars in the past. In 57, as you know, you see in the field here, uh, great connection between race cars and sports cars. The car I'm going to present you in a second is uh, classic theme of a sports car with a new interpretation. Please come up and the, uh, let's uncover it. Onegashimasu. Wow. Thank you. Thank you all. Um, before I get into the car and I start the engine of this car, this is not a static. Uh, this is the, uh, based off uh, aluminum chassis, uh, existing car, but we modified heavily to the point that you don't probably recognize even the uh, original part of the car at all. And the, uh, as I said, our in-house shop created this, fabricated this uh, carbon fiber body and the uh, mill, uh, billet aluminum uh, uh, parts from uh, five axis milling machines internally and the parts are done with our staff in Japan. And the, uh, uh, this is our first car and we're going to have a limited production of this car at the most five pieces. And uh, we're going to finish the production this year and we're going to come back with a whole new next car this year, probably at the same spot at Coel, right here. Yeah. And thanks to the organizers, we're going to continue doing this uh, in a way, in an Italian carrozzeria uh, or coach building activities that we have started in Japan for the first time. So um, let me get into the car and I start the engine. And the uh, car has a 702 horsepower and a 1.6 ton of the weight. You can imagine it is not a car for the max speed, but it is a car for the acceleration. And we have driven the car and the car handles fantastically. So hopefully you get to uh, enjoy it. Accessories and production of the car that we have done, uh, we put in the car and we have a uh, uh, staff uh, here um, to, uh, to uh, provide you the uh, after uh, sales and maintenance and everything here in Los Angeles and the uh, and Northern California here as well. So please look forward to our continuous activities and thank you so much for coming. And now let me get into the car and start an engine. And door opens, as I call this, banzai door. Rear hinge door, you can get in easily. And... Uh, let me close the door. And time to start an engine. And you can hear the sound of V12, fantastic Italian engine. I'll stop right here. 